was made to find solution for one of the defect of Bohr's model related to atomic spectra. As you know, Bohr could not account for the fine spectrum. In order to justify it, Anand Sommerfeld proposed the electrons revolve in elliptical orbits but not in circular orbits. What is an ellipse? Here you can see the sketch of an ellipse. It's not circular. It has more width horizontally and less height vertically. A line drawn horizontally passing through the center is marked as AB. This line AB is called the major axis since its length is more. Then draw a vertical line passing through the center bisecting the major axis into two equal halves. Mark it as CD. This line CD is called the major axis due to its shorter length. This structure represents an ellipse. Sommerfeld also proposed the quantization of angular momentum. But the difference is that he proposed it for an electron revolving in an elliptical orbit. What did he propose? He proposed it for an electron momentum of an electron moving in elliptical orbits is an integrated multiple of h by 2 pi. Mathematically, it can be shown as mvr is equal to k into h by 2 pi. That is, k is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. K is proposed by Sommerfeld and is called the azimuthal quantum number. The relation between the principal quantum number n and azimuthal quantum number k can be stated as shown here. Principal quantum number n divided by azimuthal quantum number l is equal to length of major axis divided by length of minor axis. What do you understand by that relation? It shows that when the value k decreases, the elliptical shape of the orbit increases. Similarly, there may be a situation where n becomes equal to k. In such case, the orbit will become circular. Let's see this. Sommerfeld proposed another important concept which says that for a given value n, k has a set of values ranging from 1 to n. What is the application of this statement? It means that every principal shell or orbit consists of such stationary orbits. These substationary orbits are also called as sublevels or sub-energy levels. Now tell me, do you think that bohr sommerfeld theory could account for the drawbacks in the Bohr's theory? No, it could successfully justify the atomic spectrum but couldn't give the complete picture and structure of atomic spectrum. Other drawbacks such as the Siemens effect and atomic spectra of multiple electron system remained unjustified. Another important point is that the mathematical concept of Sommerfeld's theory was found to be incorrect. How can we say this? The later experiments prove that azimuthal quantum number can take up values starting from 0 up to n minus 1. For example, l is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Not only this value, even the representation of azimuthal quantum number was done by L, but not by L. Can you tell me what could be the maximum value of L? It will be equal to n minus 1. 